From the WCVE Newsroom, I'm Charles Fishburne. In 2011, Richmonders could see smoke from a fire at the Great Dismal Swamp 100 miles away. And that blaze lasted almost four months, and according to the Fish and Wildlife Service, cost $10 million to fight. Kathy Barnsdorf at NASA Langley says they have just developed a drone to spot those fires early when they can be easily stopped. It's lightweight, about 15 pounds, has an almost six foot wingspan. It's very quiet, battery powered, and it can stay aloft as long as an hour. It has a range of about eight miles or so. The drone was the brainchild of a NASA researcher who lives right next to the dismal swamp. Our researcher, Mike Logan, has equipped the drone with transmitters and two different cameras. One is an out of the nose camera that can see the smoke plumes as they're rising, and the other is an infrared camera that can find hot spots by detecting heat signature. This drone and several more like it are Army surplus and free to NASA. Simple to operate, cheap to fly, and may soon be turned over to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to help in their aerial surveillance of the Great Dismal Swamp. Part of the research that we're doing is to try to figure out how to better integrate small unmanned aircraft into the national airspace system. We have an entire project in the Aeronautics Research Mission Directorate called UAS and the NAS, Unmanned Aerial System Integration into the National Airspace. So we need to work on the technical challenges and social challenges to try to make sure that we can really take advantage of these unmanned aerial systems because there could be a huge public benefit. We're at about 130 right now, airspeed's about 23. For Science Matters, I'm Charles Fishburne, WCBE News.